Hi, I'm Jerry Wilson, and I enjoy singing all the old tunes from the 40s and 50s, the romantic tunes and all that nostalgia. That's my kind of specialty for myself. And at my age, which I won't tell you, uh, I love going back and recreating all the old 78s that I used to listen to. Frank Sinatra, The Kames, Bing Crosby, whatever. What I'm leading up to, the movie Neptune's Darling, starring uh, Esther Williams and, what is his name? <laughs> oh no, don't tell me. Uh, he's the one from Fantasy Island, you know what I mean. But anyway, it was a cute musical. I saw it uh, on TV a lot. And uh, it's a charming movie, you know. And the Me Too movement is really against that film saying that uh, it rubs women the wrong way, if you know what I'm saying. Pardon the pun. And I just wanted to say, as a guy who followed the 40s and really loved that music, that little tune, Baby, It's Cold Outside, I always thought it was a real adorable song, you know, kind of charming and all that. So what I'm thinking is, the motion picture codes back in those days wouldn't allow anything out of line, you know. They wouldn't allow it. And it also, by the way, became the uh, Oscar award-winning song of 1949. So how bad can that be? I mean, maybe there's a few lyrics, if you want to take it the wrong way, uh, you can make a case out of that. So for future playing of the song or new versions of the song, I think they should just edit the song down a little bit. Take out a few parts that might trouble some people. I guess I'm talking about this too because I was at a McDonald's tonight eating something, having a pie and a coffee, and on the radio of uh, the music from the ceiling came Dean Martin's Baby It's Cold Outside. I think that's what sparked me into wanting to talk about it. And his record was cute, it was charming stuff, you know? So why don't we just relax it a little bit? Uh, I think most of you have relaxed it, or never even thought about it yet, but the more I'm hearing about it, and the more I think about it, that was a great tune, and it deserves to be heard. It's really not originally a Christmas song, so it shouldn't be associated with Christmas, maybe. It's more of a like a romantic love song in a cute way. So why don't we just relax and uh, say that it's a great tune and anybody who wants to record it coming up, just go through the, the lines on the tune and leave them out and just kind of what we call edit the song down and uh, make it shorter. It's a little on the long side anyway. That's just my opinion as a guy who follows that uh, time period a lot. Thank you for listening to me.